Good morning everybody, Fergus from Mount Majuri Vineyard here and today we're going to talk about the new monthly pack. We're about to head into June and we've got a lovely cool foggy morning to discuss the wines. First wine in the pack is Pinot Gris. This year for the first time ever it is not sourced from our vineyard so it's come from Bendigo because all of our fruit was affected by smoke tape. Today we're up here in Dinny's Block, we're standing amongst the Chardonnay and you can see none of it was picked, we weren't able to use any of our fruit this year. Nonetheless, this has become a really delicious wine. We're very happy with what it's looking like. Um, it's full of bright, fresh flavours and it's exactly what we need in Pinot Gris. So, a little taste. It's not too early. Classic pear, stone fruit. Stainless steel ferment, so there's no oak influence. It's really more in that Grigio style, so a lighter, brighter style compared to Gris, which is usually a richer, heavier style. And it goes with everything, just a fantastic wine. Really, in a way, simple, but great with anything you want to pair it with and quite happy to drink it on its own as well. Okay, into wine number two, a wine really close to our hearts, Dinny's Block. Dinny planted the first part of the vineyard in 1988, a mix of Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, and then the components that make this wine, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon. We pick them all at the same time, so we actually pick it as a block. This is what uh, the trendy people call a field blend, but because they ripen at roughly the same time, we take it all together, and what you're tasting is literally Dinny's block. Um, predominantly Cabernet Franc, a good amount of Merlot, and a tiny bit of Cabernet Sauvignon. It's the classic Bordeaux varieties, if you want to be traditional with it, and what you see in that style is fine tannins, but good grip and good body and good weight and a mid palate that has richness and softness in the good warm years like 2016 was. And in terms of fruit, you get this lovely, what the French call cassis, it's blackcurrant for us, or even ribena if you want to call it that, but it's an identifier as these sorts of varieties. And there's plenty of that in this 2016. So a gorgeous uh, second line for the Matura monthly pack for June. Okay, so we've jumped out of Dinny's block. We're standing here in the block we call Rock Block, and we're next to the original plantings of Tempranillo, because this wine is TSG, 2017 vintage, which was a lovely vintage for finesse and zing and bright characteristics. Tempranillo, Shiraz, Graciano. For us, this is a wine that shows what Mount Madura Vineyard tastes like as a red, our three favorite varieties. It has to be Tempranillo led, followed by that good bit of body and savouriness that Shiraz gives and a little hint of spice that we get from Graciano. You see that nice bit of cola, blackcurrant, blueberry notes coming through as well and a tiny bit of spice that is brought in with the addition of the Graciano. We never use more than about 15 to 20 percent max of Graciano because otherwise it powers a bit. We want the wine to be tempered in our lead. This 2017 has, uh, has done very well in terms of shows and, uh, and accolades and we're very proud of it. So this is the third wine in the June monthly pack. Okay, so that's the Madura monthly pack for June. Pinot Gris, Dinny's Block, TSG. Of course, the other exciting thing about June is that we're allowed to open up the cellar door now to 20 customers, all appropriately spaced apart with spaces in between the bookings as well. So bookings on the website, uh, we're now serving a little morsel of cheese or charcuterie to go with our tastings. We'd love to see you out here. Uh, it's been a while and we're very excited that we can start pouring wine for people again, of course, in the safest way we can. Of course, if you can't make it out here, don't forget, just get the monthly pack delivered to your house and enjoy it at home. Uh, we're really proud of these three wines and we hope that uh, you'll enjoy them when you get them. Cheers.